This workshop video covers a few things. I will first introduce the guiding principle to keep in mind. I will also go over the documentations that you require to submit and the roles these documentations play in the application process. I will wrap up the session with some tips to make your supplemental essays stronger. Imagine the following situation. You're waiting for a bus at the bus stop. You realize that you don't have enough money to get to your destination. You look around and then you find a random person walking by Looks like you have to persuade this person to fund you so that you can get to your destination. Here is the important takeaway and a guiding principle. Just like the stranger at the bus stop, scholarship application reviewers know nothing about you. Yet, you need to persuade them to help you get to your destination. Persuading someone is hard, and persuading a stranger is even harder. So you need to be thoughtful and strategic. But what does it mean to be strategic in this context? It means to take your time to plan and craft persuasive applications. How do you strategize and plan? Strategizing starts with understanding not only what you need to submit, but understanding what these required documentations mean. Usually, scholarship applications require applicants to submit the following documentations. Transcripts, recommendation letters, and supplemental essays such as personal statement and financial need essays. Why do scholarship applications require these documentations? What purposes do they serve? Again, understanding what these documentations do will help you prepare strong applications. Let's delve into individual documentation. Transcript. Why are they required? Transcripts are required because they provide reviewers the following information. Academic performance, strengths and weakness. Academic history. Some students start college, leave and return. This pattern may tell reviewers the renewed commitment to studying. Academic potential. If students have received not so good grades in the past, but now they are receiving A pluses, that shows their potential. From the information that transcripts provide, reviewers can infer students' commitment to their academic and professional goals. Why is this important? The goal of the scholarship is to help students complete their academic preparation for what they want to pursue in their career. So reviewers want to make sure that students are dedicated to their studies and then have high potential to complete their degrees. Scholarship applications also require recommendation letters. Great recommendation letters show reviewers that other people believe in you and in your potential. Recommendation letters reveal your academic and work history, how others value your talent, strengths and contributions, your characters through the eyes of your advocates, and your achievements. Strong letters that outline your strengths and talent prompt reviewers to want to invest in you. But great recommendation letters do not come easy. You have to actually do the prep work for the letter writers to produce great letters. How you can help letter writers produce great letters? Basically, asking your instructor or supervisor to write letters for you is not enough. 
When you ask people to write recommendation letters for you, you should provide as much information as possible so that they can write strong and persuasive letters for you. Also, you should let the letter writers know what you want their letters to focus on. If you are asking your instructors to write letters, you probably want to ask them to focus on your academic performance, not on your, say, customer service skills. You should let the letter writers know what the scholarship means to you and also share what you are doing to succeed academically and to receive a scholarship. Also, make sure to give letter writers enough time to put together thoughtful letters. Writing good letters takes time, so if you're only giving them one week, that could make it difficult for them to put together compelling letters. More information you provide, the more compelling the letters will be. The final and the most important docs are the supplemental essays. Supplemental essays are ways for you to paint your own story about your history and passion, ambitions and goals, achievements, the challenges you have overcome, your character, your commitment, any gaps you want to explain, and the impact of the scholarship on your academics, finances, and motivation. Supplemental essays are your ultimate pitch, and this is your opportunity to craft and paint the story that you want to emphasize. So how do you craft persuasive supplemental essays? There are a few key things that you need to remember to make the supplemental essays great. First, remember the guiding principle Reviewers do not know you, so before you start writing the essay, first ask yourself, what do you want them to know about you? Then, also ask yourself why you want them to know about these things. Have very clear ideas about why you want to include and share these stories, and the purpose is these stories serve. In other words, be very intentional. Make sure to answer all the questions you have been asked. And do not be afraid to be vulnerable. Sharing vulnerability adds personality to the essay and makes the essay more compelling. Good supplemental essays fill the gaps. Make sure to use the supplemental essays to tell stories that other documentations such as transcripts do not. For example, the transcript sometimes has a problem. It leaves a lot of stories out. You might not have done well in one quarter because you had to manage life challenges such as your illness or your family's illness. But just by looking at the transcript, reviewers do not know that. All they see is that you had a not so great quarter. So make sure to share information to fill the gaps using supplemental essays. Also, make sure to follow a good writing practice. Important to keep your essays organized and concise. Reviewers are looking at a lot of essays, so make it easy for them to read through your essay. Key takeaway. Always remember the guiding principle, reviewers do not know you, and understand the roles that each documentation play, and take your time and craft your applications in the most thoughtful way. Now that you're ready to apply for a scholarship, 
Please visit the online application to find out more or send an email to this email address if you have any questions. Thank you for viewing this workshop video and very best of luck to you.